Nestle provides you with tastier and healthier everyday choices to enhance your quality of life. Nestle, good food, good life. A healthy gut is the key to a healthy immune system and also processes the food that we need to fuel our bodies. Now, unfortunately, sometimes our tummies can embarrass us with an array of strange noises, odd reactions and, of course, flatulence. Today, I'm going to find out why this process exists and if there's a link between flatulence and the food we eat. Fiber isn't just all about food that tastes like cardboard and flatulence isn't something to be shy about. Dietitian and chef Kelly Schroeder helps us understand both. Kelly, will you please explain the biological process of flatulence? When you eat foods that contain fiber, the bacteria that live in your gut help to process those foods for you. So we can't digest all of the starches that are in our food, and the bacteria metabolize those. And one of the byproducts of that metabolism is gas, and that's what causes our flatulence. And this is completely normal? It's absolutely normal to produce gas. It's part of a very healthy digestive system. Foods like beans, broccoli and cabbage are the common culprits in increasing flatulence. Some dairy products and too much sugar can also worsen the effect. Is there a connection between fiber and flatulence? Yes, if you're eating a lot of foods that contain more fiber, so things like whole grain starches, lots of vegetables, lots of fruit, then you will be producing a little bit more gas. What is really important about fiber is that it helps us with our digestion. So it helps to keep you regular. It also helps to make everything a little bit more comfortable. So even if there is a little bit of gas production with the fiber, it does help you to be more regular. Eating fiber can help you to control your energy levels because it makes your meals a little bit slower to digest. So it makes your blood sugar levels a little bit more constant after that meal. Fiber also helps with cholesterol control because it actually helps to remove cholesterol out of your body. There's a certain kind of fiber called soluble fiber that helps to absorb cholesterol. Brand cereal and prunes aren't the only way to increase your fiber intake. Kelly has a fantastic recipe you can use at lunch or dinner which is tasty and high in fiber. We're going to make little ostrich meatballs. Ostrich is a lovely lean meat but you can substitute for any other meat in this recipe. I'm going to serve the meatballs with a spicy tomato sauce with some Spanish flavors in it so a little bit of smoked paprika and cumin. And then the side dishes are steamed green beans and some brown and wild rice, which are both very high fiber food. Okay, I'm starting with the spicy tomato sauce because it takes a little longer to prepare. So the first ingredient is garlic, and we spoke about how garlic increases flatulence if you eat too much of it. So I'm actually going to cut it and bash it and help to infuse the olive oil that I heat up with that garlic so that you get the flavor, but none of those resistant starches that cause gas. So you peel and then you bash it to release all the nice flavors and then you can just take it over to the oil in the pan. What I've done now is I've put the garlic into the oil and it's sizzled away but I'm actually going to remove the garlic now. So the oil tastes great but you don't have to eat the garlic and you won't have to worry about flatulence from doing that. I'm going to fry the red pepper and you can also pass me the spices please. And when they've had just a little while to cook, then we can add the rest of the ingredients. Add the remaining ingredients to the pan and then allow the mixture to simmer gently. While this is cooking away, you can continue to prepare your ostrich meatballs. So let's get on to the meatballs. I'm going to start with some spring onions. So I'm using this for flavor to give a nice oniony flavor, but I'm actually only going to use the green part of the onion. Why is that important? The white part of any onion contains more of those resistant starches. So a little bit like the garlic that we mentioned earlier, it can cause a little bit more flatulence. So the different ingredients that we're using in this dish contain different kinds of fiber? Yes, there are two major kinds of fiber that you're going to get from the food here. The one is the insoluble fiber and the other one is the soluble fiber. So the things like celery strings and the green onions and the parsley that we have, those all have insoluble fibers and that's basically roughage. The things that absorb water, like the oats, those are soluble fibers and they also help to bind the dish. So instead of using eggs or flour or something like that, the oats will help. And then I'm going to add some flavor. So that comes from the spices and I've got some mixed herbs and coriander. And then the basics, the salt and pepper. Is it possible to overdo your fiber intake? Yes, there are actually a few side effects of having a little bit too much fiber. You think it's always fantastically healthy, but if you're really overdoing it, then it can cause some nutrient problems. So it interferes with the absorption of some minerals and vitamins. So things like calcium and iron, if you're eating too much fiber, you're not absorbing those so well. 
and apart from flatulence as well, it can cause a little bit of cramping and diarrhea if you're really doing too much. A lot of people suffer from sensitive stomachs or irritable bowel syndrome. How can we ensure that we get in enough fiber without getting that bloated feeling? Yeah, it's really important not to avoid fiber even if you do have a sensitive stomach. It's about picking the right kinds of fiber for you. So I discussed soluble and insoluble fiber and if you really have a sensitive stomach, it's better to choose more soluble fibers. Bake your meatballs in the oven and then serve alongside your wild rice and steamed green beans. The recipe can be found on the Doctor's Orders website. Kelly, this looks absolutely amazing. So don't forget your fiber and learn to love all sorts of healthy food. Nestle provides you with tastier and healthier everyday choices to enhance your quality of life. Nestle. Good food, good life.